you have got to watch the extended cut. It makes things so much better. Or, no, the movie is so much better with the director's cut. If you don't watch it, you haven't seen the real film. These are things you've probably heard before. And with that, hi, I'm Super Psy Guy, and today I am going to discuss the pros and cons of extended or director's cuts and the pitfalls of relying on them to complete the movie. A key component to movies or TV shows is storytelling. A movie with a good story will be remembered well past the initial views. A good story can make a movie great, even if the special effects or acting or whatever else is subpar. Basically, a good story can make a good movie a great one, and a poor story can take what should be a good movie and make it absolutely unremarkable. The reason I bring this up is because in some movies, the story really seems incomplete until you see the extended or director's cuts. A prime example of this is the Snyder Cut of the Justice League. Ignoring the opinion side of it, like if it was a good movie or not, that's completely up for debate and on an individual basis. But it is definitely a more complete movie than the theatrical cut. A big part of that is because the Snyder Cut was the extended version and it completes the story he was trying to tell with the movie. But here it is. The theatrical version was two hours long. The Snyderverse version was a whopping four hours, doubling the runtime to make the story far more enjoyable and complete. And to put that in perspective, by current Hollywood standards, a long movie is about three hours. The average movie is about a hundred minutes or just over an hour and a half. So let's put it this way. You'd be looking at cutting almost an hour of the film just to make it considered a long film in theaters. And this is the pitfall. A movie like this, you could not cut an hour or more without heavily impacting the story in a negative way. Mind you, that's not always a negative. Look at the massive early 2000s Peter Jackson's blockbuster trilogy, The Lord of the Rings. The theatrical releases were absolutely fine and told the stories as they should have. The director's cut of those same three movies added just over a combined two hours of extra footage. Without that added time, the story was great, and with that added time, you got extra lore, a little bit more world building, character depth, and a few Easter eggs for the people who are fans of the book series. It was done right. Another example is from the noted anti-Marvel director Francis Ford Coppola. With his 1979 film Apocalypse Now, from the start, he wasn't happy with the theatrical release, but 100% understood why things needed to be cut down. So he made it into a story that worked even if it wasn't as long and include as much as he wanted. It didn't feel incomplete and it was fine as it was. Then he released Apocalypse Now Redux in 2001, which added another 45 minutes to the film. It was closer in line with what he had originally imagined. This version almost made it a completely different movie, or at least a different viewpoint of the same film. Of course, it also faced a lot of criticism because this version was tough to get through, which even Coppola admitted later on. And then in 2019, he released Apocalypse Now, The Final Cut, which was more of a compromise between the theatrical release and his Redux release. It came in a little over 30 minutes longer than the original release but changed it up a bit so that it kind of compromised the two versions. So this one film, you actually have examples of an extended edition done right and an extended edition done wrong. And that brings us to our main point here. We know it's possible for extended editions to be good. We know it's possible for extended editions to be bad. But the important thing is you need to make a film that is complete on its own. 
then you can use the extended editions to enhance the story, enhance the film, and make the people who already like it fall in love with it even more. Instead of using it to fix incomplete storylines or fix character depth issues within the film by adding everything into the extended edition. When you do that, the release version of the film is not going to feel good for the directors. It's not going to feel good for the actors. It's not going to feel good for the people who view the film. If you agree or you disagree, feel free to leave a comment down below and check out our other videos. Thank you for watching. Peace, peace.